After identifying the problem area, prepare to install true track dual return at approximately three times the width of the belt before the problem area. Before removing the existing idler and brackets or V return frame, ensure that the true track dual return will be slightly higher than the existing idlers. Ensure the tracking adjustment pin is facing the catwalk to ensure ease of access once installed. Set the distance between the inside of the plates to the recommended distance C as per the table to obtain the correct tracking angle. Increase the distance C if more tracking adjustment is needed. Because the dual return is multi-directional, it doesn't matter which way it is installed. Use slings and chain blocks to lift the true track dual return into position under the conveyor belt. Bolt the brackets onto the structure. Before tightening, ensure both brackets are knocked fully forwards or backwards to ensure the brackets are perpendicular to the structure and lined up exactly opposite each other. Once completed, tighten all bolts. Move the true track dual return with the tracking adjustment pin to check the tension. If the tension is correct, it should be difficult to move the pin backwards or forwards. This will ensure that sufficient conveyor belt tension is evenly distributed across the tracker's entire working surface. If the true track dual return moves easily backwards and forwards, there is insufficient tension. Loosen the base and move it upwards one hole on the bracket. Recheck the tension. If it is still insufficient, move up another hole until you achieve sufficient tension. Installation is now complete. Start the conveyor belt to test the dual return. Test that the true track dual return tracks the belt from both sides. Manually detrack the belt by moving the tracking adjustment pin in one direction. When you release the pin, the true track dual return should automatically center the belt. Repeat this test by moving the tracking adjustment pin in the opposite direction. If installed correctly, it should centralize the belt from both sides. If the true track dual return remains kicked in on any one side or responds too slowly, increase the amount of tension. If the problem persists, knock existing idler brackets or frames before and after the true track dual return perpendicular and horizontally aligned to the conveyor structure. Remove any other tracking devices or inverters in front of or behind the true track dual return before testing the conveyor system as they will reduce or interfere with the performance of the true track dual return. Warning: Do not invert the true track dual return. The T piece is not secured to the base and will drop out of the base if inverted. <laughs>